I welcome you to another episode of this topic which I titled Making Trees to Fly. It's a message on faith and um, today I believe this message is going to help you. My name is Joseph Adenuga. I'm the pastor of Prevailing Church of Christ and I'm here to bless you again as usual with the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ to keep you inspired, motivated and blessed. And I know this edition is a destined to do something in your life that will bring a turn around. I pray that the glory of God will overshadow you. The power of God will lift you up. God will give you power to face the coming year and the power to overcome challenges and difficulties that may come your way in the new year. May God give you the grace to be a winner and to be unstoppable in everything you desire to do. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. In the book of Luke chapter 17, you know, I quoted to you where Jesus Christ was saying that if you can say, if anyone can say unto this sycamore tree, be thou, you know, be thou plucked from the root and be replanted in the river or in the sea, it shall be as he says, meaning that you have the ability through faith to cause a tree to fly. You see, you can do anything if you can just believe. The Bible says that all things are possible to anyone that believes. You see, what brings whatever you see in our world is belief. Everything that you are seeing today was not there when this world was made. There was no telephone, there were no cars, there were no airplane, even there was no cloth. You see, man was born naked and man was like that. So, but all the things that we see and we use today were created by those who believe. Those who believe that, see, I can do something. Somebody came and believed that he could invent electricity and he did just that. You see, when God made man, God did not give us electricity. It was the duty of man to discover electricity and use electricity to his own advantage and development. And that is why every man is different from animals. Men are not animals. Those who say that man is a social animal, they don't understand what they are saying. Because if animals and man are in the same level, then we could have seen animals develop their world. We could have seen them wearing clothes. We could have seen them doing telephone. We could have seen them doing some of the things that man is doing on earth today. Man is created to be the head and the ruler of his world. And that is why you have the power to do anything. But the only thing it requires of you is faith. You must believe in yourself. You see, let me tell you, you can succeed, you can make it. As you look to face and to enter the new year 2018, I want you to understand this very important point. That this world is a world of love, a world of abundance, a world of joy. This world is not, I don't want you to see this world as a place of torture, a place of suffering, a place of lack, a place where hatred is ruling, a place of war, and a place where things are not right. When you look at this world like that, it will be very, very impossible for you to exercise faith. When you believe that this world is a place where there is scarcity and there is lack, you will have no faith to believe that you can get abundance. When you believe you are living in a world where it is difficult for the less privileged to come up, then you are never going to come up. Because you have seen people who are born to the poorest family on planet Earth, and they rose up to make those families to be one of the richest families on Earth. There is absolutely nothing impossible in the, in the human kingdom. The human kingdom is a kingdom of possibilities. The human kingdom is a kingdom of wealth. The human kingdom is a kingdom where man is destined to rule and to reign. But the reason why we are not reigning is that we believe that the world you see, is cheating us. The world is not fair to us. When you think like that and you believe like that, you will find it difficult to exercise your faith. And if you cannot exercise your faith, you cannot win. Because the Bible says in the book of 1 John chapter 5, it says, this is the victory that overcomes the world, even our faith. 
He said, who is it that overcomes the world? He, you see, the one that overcomes the world is the one that has faith. You cannot overcome when you don't have faith. And you cannot have faith when you believe that you are living in a world that is, you know, partial. A world that rewards the rich and uh, punishes the poor. When you think like that, you will never become rich. When you think that there are some people in this world that are favored, some people in this world are just favored and some other people are not favored, don't think like that. You can rise from where you are to where you want to be. You can go from where you are to wherever you want to be in this world. There is nothing that you desire in your heart that you cannot have. This world is not a world of lack. This world is a world of abundance. I want you to open your eyes and look around you. There is power on the inside of you. You can make it. You can succeed. You can go wherever you want to go. There is that grace. There is that power. All you need to do is to think right and believe right. And you are going to have it. This is the truth. And this is what God has sent me to, you know, to tell you today. Maybe to remind you some of these things I'm saying. You know them, but you just don't believe them. Or maybe you believe them. I'm just reminding you. And if you don't know this, I just want you to know that it's a world of abundance. It's a world of love. Don't see this world as a world that is full of hatred. Everyone I meet just hate me. Everywhere I go, I don't know what is happening in my life. People just don't like me. I try to do my best. They don't appreciate me. Ha! Ha! If you think like that, you are thinking yourself to poverty. You are thinking yourself to death. Stop thinking like that. If someone does not love you, if someone hates you, there are other people who are waiting to love you. There are other people with open arms genuinely getting ready to love you and to show you joy and to give you whatever you want. If somebody rejects you, there are so many others who are willing to accept you. You are not rejected. That one person has rejected you is not equal to the rejection of, the, of God. So I want you to rise up from this condition you are. As you look to face the year 2018, I want you to rise up with this faith in your heart. The Bible says, Whosoever shall say to this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea. If he shall believe what he says in his heart and doubt not, he shall have it. What do you want in your life? It is time for you to begin to speak your desire. It is time for you to begin to proclaim what you want in this life. It is time for you to use your faith and speak to your mountain. What is your mountain? Is it that everywhere you go you meet with rejection? It is time to rise and say, you spirit of rejection, in the name of Jesus, I command you out of my life. I don't know what is happening in your life. Maybe you always fail at the edge of breakthrough. You are always remaining little to make it. It is time for you to rise and say, in the name of Jesus, you spirit of failure at the edge of breakthrough, I command you out of my life. As I enter 2018, I command you, spirit of wickedness, depart from me. Mean it in your heart. Speak it with all your heart. As you speak it, it's going to come to pass. I don't know what you are going through. Maybe you are going through sickness and disease. Maybe your disease is incurable disease. Maybe your disease is blood-based. Maybe your disease is anything the doctor said. It's incurable Hallelujah. It is time for you to forsake the report of the doctor and go for the report of Jesus. The Bible says by the stripes of Jesus you are healed. It is time for you to rise and say I command my healing right now in the name of Jesus. You see if you have faith, maybe you have cancer in your body and doctor says it's incurable, you can speak to that cancer. We have power to cause things to dematerialize we have creative power you are a human being you have creative power you can command the cancer to dematerialize it will get out of your body there is power when you speak speak the word and it shall come to pass 
Speak the word with faith in your heart and it shall be established. Speak the word of God to your life. Speak the word of God to your situation and it will obey you. Rise up in faith today. This is the message God has sent me to you. I believe it has blessed you. I'd like you to rebroadcast this to people. Let them get blessed. And I'm sure they're going to thank you for it. There's a donation box on our website. I'd like you to be part of this ministry. Donate to this ministry. Join hands with me to spread, to continue to spread this gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ all around the world. And I believe that God is going to bless you in return. Thank you so much. May God bless you as we look to enter the new year. May God give you visions of blessings. May God give you divine and creative ideas that is going to bring wealth into your hand in the coming year. It is done. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Again, this is Joseph Adenuga, the pastor of Prevailing Church of Christ, signing out and saying to you, be blessed and remain blessed.